In 2015, the European Court of Human Rights found that Hungarian prisons have huge human rights issues. There's a structural problem of uh, detention conditions, including prisons are overcrowded. This problem has persisted since then and even longer ago, which is related to the fact that more and more people get into prison uh, and less and less of them get out of prison. So we have a rising prison population, that's one problem. And this overcrowded situation makes it impossible to deal with some of these very bad conditions. Like for example, we have very old prison buildings and the government hasn't invested in replacing these buildings. They just added new ones so that they can house more people. But these new places always fill up with new people. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's kind of a spiral of the problems. Well, there are 33 different institutions and they are very different to each other. So I wouldn't say that the Budapest situation is worse than others, but in some, con in some regards, latest data says that, yes, I mean, for example, this institution consisting of three buildings where Ilaria Salis is held was uh, fighting a 20% staff shortage at the end of October 2023. And also it was overcrowded, 107% overcrowded. Increasing. So we can see that pre-trial detention is on the rise, has been for the past three years. So, uh, so the proportion of pre-trial detainees from 2019, from 16%, has risen to 24%. So that's one thing, which, which is a problem of alternative sanctions or alternatives to pre-trial detention. Unfortunately, it doesn't work well. That's one thing. The other, other thing is that alternatives to imprisonment are not used enough. So the government is not investing in uh, maintaining a good system of alternatives to imprisonment in general. And there's a criminalization of poverty going on. So some people get into uh, prison because they didn't pay a fine. And that's a problem. So it's a, a, it creates a structural problem where very different types of people get into prison. Those who don't belong there, poor people, be, for not being able to pay a fine. And the prison system cannot deal with all sorts of different problems. Prison system is not there to deal with social issues like marginalization, poverty, and such things. No. Yes. Yeah. These problems are also persisting and persistent and have been around for a long time. And it is related to old buildings and also overcrowding because if a system is overcrowded, then you can't, for example, um, get rid of infestations because you can't just take people and put them to other cells. Whereas when you would want to um, clean it out, clean an infestation out, you might need it empty for 10 or 15 days. But it, they can't solve it this way because they don't have enough space. This is why. So it's, yeah, we, we get a lot of, lot of complaints about these substandard uh, sanitation conditions. No. Unfortunately, this government has never engaged in talking about why it would be nice to have human, humane prison conditions. In, on the contrary, they have always to, spoken about harsh conditions, um, we don't care about criminals, and so public opinion oh, many times follows these political statements. Um, and I, I should say that people don't know a lot about what's happening in prisons, so they have something in mind maybe that hard criminals are there and only them and they deserve anything they get. Um, but uh, we need to change that on a European level because unfortunately um, good prison conditions require a lot of investment and I think we should concentrate more on this on the European level because a lot of other prison systems also have a problem like this. Yes, I just follow it from in the news mm -hmm. and uh, I can see that again these shackles and chains were used maybe a bit less than before but still on the ankle and handcuffs 
uh, were still there, and I, I don't think that it's necessary to, to use them. It's something common here. It is, it is common, okay. and it, is, it violates uh, an EU, um, uh, EU law, actually, and Hungarian law, too, because they overuse it 